When you're in nature, you're creative. When you get out here and you see the majesty of a tree or these gigantic cliffs, you start asking big questions. And when children have that opportunity to explore, to ask, to, to be creative, and to do it in a surrounding where they're supportive of each other, that's great stuff. In this technologically enabled world, where everyone has these devices and we're constantly looking down, the national parks offer the best places to have people pick their heads up, look around, smell the air, engage with others that they wouldn't normally engage with, and in many ways return to their senses. Nature Bridge was founded in 1971, and today, 44 years later, we serve 30,000 kids a year in immersive, week-long environmental science programs in six national parks across the United States. Nature Bridge has been doing this for 40 plus years for over a million children, and each one of those experiences is truly a transformative experience. I think programs like Nature Bridge are important because kids are becoming disconnected to nature. We need to get kids to experience nature in order to fall in love with it and therefore protect it. I think one of the best things you can do for children's well-being is to get them into the outdoors. I mean, that environment is such a great teacher. You basically get to come out of the classroom and learn about it in the place where it happens. In the classroom, you're just sitting at your desk learning about it. Out here, you actually get to go and do it. The thing that's so special and unique about Nature Bridge is this opportunity for this really rich, immersive, deep place-based learning that occurs in these incredible national park settings. And so we often see when we look at the core education framework, for example, that it's guided in such a way that allows us to bring all of these together in a really unique social experience for the young people who come. When kids come to an overnight program at Nature Bridge, they get to see the mountains, they get to walk on dirt paths. They get to become scientists. The excitement you see in those kids' eyes, just, they don't want to go home. They want to stay. And, uh, and that, that really revitalizes these places. I think every student should come to Nature Bridge so that they can know to take care of the environment and to make it better. The National Environmental Science Center in Yosemite National Park is a declaration. Environmental science education having an iconic, prominent home in the middle of one of the world's most treasured landscapes is a powerful message for the importance of this work across the globe. At Google, we scour the world every year for innovators and organizations that are really pushing the envelope in their particular fields. And when we found Nature Bridge and saw what they were doing in the field of environmental education, we knew that we had found one of those innovators. A month ago, I had a group of students come from an inner city part of Sacramento. The school was only able to come because of financial aid, and for those students, everything was a first for them. We sincerely believe that our grant to Nature Bridge will help to create a world where every child experiences nature and is informed through science and is motivated to take action to protect their natural world. In class, we usually just look at video or something. And here we get to visualize the creatures and bugs and get to see a lot of things. Whenever there's wildlife on trail, we stop and we look at it and to see that admiration on a student's face, like seeing something for the first time and being so close to it, gets them really, really excited. And even though you're still with your teachers, you're doing a lot of different things that you don't do at school. I really love working for Nature Bridge because it's all encompassing. It covers not only scientific learning, but social emotional learning and group dynamics. So I love getting to see our students um, gel as a group as the week progresses, grow as leaders, and also grow as scientists. You know, I think my generation has a lot of responsibility. Learning about this stuff will definitely influence my choices as an adult. And I mean, starting now, we gotta start now. 
You take the kid out of the inner city, you take in the Yellowstone, Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, that too may result in a different behavior because now they have been exposed to something much bigger than themselves, which they've never experienced before except on Sundays. Every day in a national park is Sunday because every day in a national park is an experience of wonder. The past is interesting, the present is powerful, but there's no greater interaction than with the days to come.